Victor, I thank you. Here comes the count. Cesario! On your attendance, my lord. Cesario! Cesario, I have unclapped to thee even the book of my secret soul. Therefore, go to Lady Olivia. Tell her of my love. Be not denied access till I have audience. Sure, my noble lord. If she be so abandoned to her sorrow as it is spoke, she will never admit me. Be glamorous. Leave it all civil bound rather than make an unprofited return. Say, my noble lord, I do speak with her. What then? Oh, then unfold the passion of my love. I'll do my best to woo your lady. Yet a powerful strife, whoever I woo. Myself would be his wife. <laughs> Nay, either tell me where thou hast been, or I'll make no excuse for thee. My lady will hang thee for thy absence. Oh, many a good hanging prevents a bad marriage. Oh, peace, you rogue. No more of that. Here comes my lady. Wit, and it be thy will, put me into good fooling. God bless thee, lady. Take the fool away. Do you not hear, fellow? Take away the lady. Go to your drive, fool. I'll know more of you besides. You grow dishonest. The lady bade take away the fool. Therefore, I say again, take her away. Sir, I bade them take away you. Good Madonna, give me leave to prove you a fool. Make your proof. Good Madonna, why mournest thou? Good fool for my brother's death. I think his soul is in hell, Madonna. I know his soul is in heaven, fool. The more fool, Madonna, to mourn for your brother's soul being in heaven. Take the fool away, gentlemen. What think you of this fool, Malvolio? Doth he not mend? Yes, and shall do to the pangs of death shake him. Infirmity that decays the wise doth ever make the better fool. Oh, God send you, sir, a speedy infirmity for the better increasing of your folly. Madam, there's the young gentleman must desire to speak with you. From the Count Orsino, is it? I know not, madam. Who of my people hold him in delay? Sir Toby, madam. Oh, fetch him off, I pray you. Go you, Malvolio, if it be a suit from the Count, I am sick or not at home, what you will. Now you see, sir, how your fooling grows old and people dislike it. By mine honor half drunk, what is he at the gate, cousin? Uh, Tis a gentleman here. How now, sought? Good Sir Toby. <laughs> cousin, cousin, how are you so early by this lethargy? Lettery? I defy lettery. <laughs> There's one at the gate. He's in the third degree of drink. Go look after him. Oh, he is but mad yet, Madonna. And the fool shall look to the madman. <sighs> Madam, young young fellow swears he will speak with you. Tell him he shall not. Has been told so. He says he will speak with you. Of what personage in years is he? Not yet old enough for a man, nor young enough for a boy. Let him approach. <clears throat> call in my gentlewoman. Gentlewoman! My lady calls! Come. Give me my veil, throw it over my face. We'll once more hear Orsino's embassy. The honorable lady of the house, which is she? Speak to me, I shall answer for her. Most honorable, radiant, and exquisite beauty. I pray you, tell me if this be the lady of the house, for I never saw her. I would be loath to cast away my speech, for I have taken great pains to con it. Are you a comedian? No, I am not that I play. Are you the lady of the house? I am. I will on with my speech in your praise, and then show you the heart of my message. Come to what is important in it. I forgive you the praise. Alas, I took great pains to study it, and tis poetical. Speak your office. <coughs> it alone concerns your ear. Give us the place alone. Now, sir, what is your text? Most Where sweet. lies your text? In Orsino's bosom. In what chapter? The first of his heart. Oh, I have read it. It is heresy. Have you no more to say? Madam, let me see your face. Have you any commission from your lord to negotiate with my face? You are not out of your text, but we'll draw the curtain and look on the picture. Such a one I was his presence is it not well done. Excellently done. Were you sent hither to praise me? My lord and master loves you. Your lord does know my mind. I cannot love him. If I did love you in my master's flame, in your denial I would find no sense. Why, what would you? Write loyal cantons of contemned love, and sing them loud even in the dead of night, and make the babbling gossip of the air cry out, Olivia. You might do much. Get to your lord. 
I cannot love him, let him send no more. Unless, perchance, you come to me again to tell me how he takes it. Fare you well. Farewell, fair cruelty. Not too fast, soft, soft. Even so quickly might one catch the plague. Methinks I feel this use perfections a creep in at mine eyes. Well, let it be. What ho, Malvolio! Here, madam! Run after that same messenger. He left this ring behind him. Tell him all none of it. Hide thee, Malvolio. What is the creed must be, and be this so. Will you stay no longer? By your patience, no. You must know of me, Antonio. I am Sebastian. My father was that Sebastian of Messali. He left behind myself and a sister, both born within the hour, for some hour before you pulled me from the sea, my sister drowned. A lady, sir, thought much to resemble me. Pardon me, sir, your bad entertainment, but let me be your servant. Desire it not. I am bound to Count Orsino's court. Farewell. I have many enemies in Count Orsino's court, but I will go. Were you not even now with the Countess Olivia? Even now, sir. She returns this ring to you, sir. She adds moreover that you never come again in his affairs. Unless it be to report your lord's taking of this. I left no ring with her. What means this lady? Oh, she loves me, sure. Poor lady, she were better love a dream. My master loves her dearly, and I fund as much on him, and she mistaken seems to dote on me. O oh, time, thou must untangle this, not I. It is too hard enough for me to untie. Approach, Sir Andrew, not to be abed after midnight is to be up betimes. I know to be up late is to be up late. <laughs> a false conclusion. Does not life consist of the four elements? I think it rather consists of eating and drinking. <laughs> Thou art a scholar, let us therefore eat and drink. Mm. Here comes the fool. Mm. Oh, welcome, let's have a song. <gasps> Shall we make the welkin dance indeed? Most certain, it begins, hold thy peace. I shall never begin if I hold my peace. <laughs> Come, begin. What a caraballing do you keep here? If my lady had not called upon her steward Malvolio, oh, you the I twelve would day of December. Oh, my masters, are you mad? Do ye make an alehouse of my lady's house? Sir so Toby, my lady bade me to tell you, if you can separate yourself and your misdemeanors, you are welcome. If not, farewell. Go shake your ears. <laughs> Sir Toby, be patient, for thy lady is much out of quiet. For Monsieur Malvolio, let me deal with him. It is on his grounds of faith that all who look on him love him, and in that vice in him will my revenge find notable grounds to work. What wilt thou do? I will drop some obscure epistle of love. I can write very much like my lady, your niece. Excellent. He shall think that they come from my niece and that she is in love with him. Oh, it, it will be admirable. I will plant you two and let the fool make a third. For tonight to bed, to dream on this event. Farewell. Before me. She's a good one. Come, knight. 